This video will be a head-to-head -head comparison between a Ryzen automation framework known as Cypress and the established one, Selenium. Thanks for watching Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. If you have landed on this video, you probably already know what Selenium is all about. If you don't, please check out the video card above to learn more. In this video, I'm going to be focusing a lot on Cypress and what Cypress brings to the table. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the difference between Cypress and Selenium. And first, we'll have a look at the definition. It says, Cypress is a JavaScript, open source, end-to-end -end testing framework. And what does it all mean? Well, JavaScript means that Cypress runs on a Node.js server. This also means that we can only use JavaScript in order to write our tests. Open source means that this is open to the public. Anyone is welcome to contribute to the framework. And end-to-end -end testing means that we're generally going to be doing integration testing as opposed to unit testing with this type of framework. Cypress is tech stack agnostic. This means that we can use it to test anything that runs on a browser, regardless of what your tech stack looks like. Now let's have a look at where Cypress does best. It is designed to test web apps that are written in modern JavaScript frameworks, such as Angular, React, and Vue. This does not mean, however, that you cannot use it to test other types of web apps. And lastly, let's have a look at what you came here for, to see the difference between Cypress and Selenium. And here, I put together 10 key metrics to compare them against. The first one is architecture. And for Cypress, tests run alongside the application under test, meaning that they're running in the same run loop. This also means that your tests are going to be faster because there is no middleman. On the other hand, Selenium tests do not run alongside the application on the test. Instead, they communicate with the browser driver, and this is the middleman that I was referring to. Since Selenium tests have to interact with browser drivers, this makes them a little bit slower compared to Cypress tests. And the next item is test language support. This refers to the type of programming languages that we can use in order to write our tests. For Cypress, you only have one choice, and that is JavaScript. For Selenium, however, you have more choices. You can use Java, JavaScript, c -sharp, and many other languages. Next, we come to weights. Cypress comes with automatic weighting out of the box. So for instance, let's say that you're making some type of assertion on the website. Cypress will automatically wait for you. Selenium, on the other hand, you have to manually add this type of weights. Next, we have automatic video recording. So when the Cypress test runs, it will automatically record a video of the test run. And this happens when you're running your test in continuous integration or headless mode. Selenium does not have built-in capabilities that allows us to record our tests as they run, but this can be accomplished using external libraries. Next, we have automatic screenshots. Cypress will automatically take a screenshot every time that a test fails. With Selenium, on the other hand, you have to program this manually. Cypress will also take snapshots at every test execution step. This means that for every line of code, you can step through it and see what happened when that step executed. You will have a screenshot of that. Next, we have test parallelization. Boy, that's a tough word. And with Cypress, we can do this with the Cypress.io dashboard. This is a service that is made free for open source projects. If you have a commercial project, then you're going to have to pay a fee. And for Selenium, we know that we can use Selenium Grid Server to do this. We can do this locally or on a cloud solution. And next, we have cross-browser testing. Cypress supports Chromium-based browsers. So this means that any browsers such as Chrome, IE, Firefox will be supported on Cypress. The only drawback is that it does not support Safari. So if you have tests that need to be running on Safari, you're going to run into problems. Selenium, on the other hand, supports all major browsers, including Safari. And next, we move on to documentation. For Cypress, the documentation is absolutely excellent. They take a lot of time and effort to make sure that their documentation is very thorough and easy to understand. Selenium also has some great documentation. Next, we have support. When it comes to Cypress, support is very good because Cypress is backed by Cypress.io, which is a for-profit company. It is also open to the community, so it is open source. So we have community of testers contributing to this framework as well as a company backing the framework. Selenium only has the community to rely on. So it is open source and it doesn't have a company that backs it. And lastly, number 10, we have popularity. And for Cypress, the popularity is definitely increasing. More and more people are wanting to check out Cypress. And for Selenium, we know that it's very popular. It is used by many, many teams. So who do you think won that match? 
selenium, or cypress? I would love to hear your comments or questions that you may have. If you would like to learn more about Selenium, check out the video card above to learn all of the new features that are coming out with Selenium 4. I'll see you in the next video.